What's going on everyone? My name is Eric and today on the channel we're going to be checking out this right here. This is the Super 300 from Master Effects and this is an all-in-one base preamp that is essentially a clone of the preamp section from the Ampeg SVT 302 base amp. And this is a pretty cool pedal and this is a pretty cool alternative to the Ampeg SVT 300 which is a full-fledged tube amp and obviously as I've said in many other videos a full tube amp especially for bass players might not be in the cards for a lot of players in general. So this might be a pretty cool option for you. So with all that being said, why don't we hear this in a full demo mix? That was the Super 300 in a full demo mix. Real simple signal chain. I was using my Dingwall bass with the preamp turned off since this is a preamp. Went into the actual Ampeg SVT 300. Everything was set to noon because this is doing all the heavy lifting here. And then out of that into my two notes capture. Then out of the capture into the cabinet section of Neural DSP's Parallax X. So as I said earlier, this is a faithful recreation of the preamp section of the Ampeg SVT 300. And that is a legendary bass amp that has been used by tons of producers, tons of bass players across various genres and and has been on probably a lot of your favorite albums at this point in time. And because this is a preamp pedal, this is essentially replicating what you would see on the front panel of the Ampeg SVT 300 in terms of the tone controls and the layout for the most part. Going over the pedal real quick, we have a good amount of features on this pedal that are very similar to those that you would find on the SVT. We have our level, treble, middle, bass, and we have our actual gain knob, which you are going to find on the Ampeg SVT. We're gonna have the high and the low switch, which are essentially just like filter switches or kind of like a presence and a depth control, which you kind of just toggle in and out of the circuit. And I really like how these react, especially when they are turned on. It really changes the dynamic and the overall sound of the actual amp, or at least the preamp, and it does a really good job of doing that. We then have this mid-range frequency control right here. This is on a rotary dial. You have five different presets on here based on the actual frequency that you're actually going to boost or cut, and I will demo that later so you can all hear it. And then up on the top here, we have our input right here. We have our balanced output, which is essentially just a quarter inch out if you want to go straight to front of house or if you're going to go straight into your recording interface. We then have our regular output jack right at the top here. This is in case you're going to throw this into your pedal board and then use this as your dedicated preamp. And that's kind of how I run it for the most part. And you can power this by using one of those general Boss 9 volt adapters or something like a Dunlop DC brick. So now at this point, we're going to plug into the pedal and we're going to pretend like this is the first time we've ever plugged in the pedal. And I'm just going to mess with some of the controls on here, just show you how they react and how they sound. And just to give you an idea of what this would be like if you were going to plug this in at a music store for the very first time. <laughs> Thank you. 
So now let's hear this pedal all dialed in based on how I would like to use it with my own live rig. So now at this point, let's compare this pedal, which is the preamp section of the SVT-300, to the real deal. So I'm gonna plug straight into the SVT-300, mess with the controls just as I did with this pedal here. And then after this, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts and opinions on this pedal here.
All right, so at the end of the day, and after spending a good amount of time with this pedal here, I think it's a pretty sweet pedal, and I really think that this pedal captures the preamp section of that big old SVT-300. Both this pedal and the actual SVT-300 respond very similarly in terms of the preamp section, not talking about the power amp section that comes with that giant 300 watt monster of a bass amp. I really noticed that the mid-range rotary control felt really similar between both the pedal and the actual amp in terms of the actual frequency response. I also noticed that the way that the potentiometers reacted and like the overall like tones that are like inherent to the pedal, they really felt really similar and they sounded very similar to my ears by comparison to the actual amp. The gain, in my opinion, it does get a little fuzzy and a little woofy, which is not really my thing, especially, you know, playing metal. When I really want to kick on some overdrive, like there's some other pedals that I would probably recommend that you pair this with and use this as kind of like a clean or a slightly overdriven platform. But then again, that's just for me and the style of distortion that I'm going for when I'm playing metal bass. But I'm sure if you're playing genres outside of metal, maybe some rock or like some fuzz rock or something like that, I'm sure this would be just fine. I noticed the ultra high and the ultra low switches right here were very similar to the actual push button ones on the actual SVT 300. Sounded pretty cool. This solo function down here is pretty sweet as well. There's a bit of a volume boost as well. It's nothing like crazy night and day, but it will help you kick out and stand out in the mix, which is really nice, especially if you do have a solo section here. The level control sounds really good as well. Uh, it's built really well in this nice like metal chassis here. And, you know, can't really complain about that. The only thing that I would complain about is the balanced out is a quarter inch and that is a bit of a small complaint here. I remember asking Tim who owns Master Effects and designs and builds all of these pedals. He was even saying that there's not a lot of room to actually incorporate an actual XLR out on here. So that is unfortunate, but there is a simple solution by just buying a quarter inch to XLR adapter. And then you can give that to your sound person and then they can go front of house with it if they so choose. At the end of the day, this is a very cool pedal. This kind of has like a bit of a vintage sound and you know, pairing that with my Dingwall bass, especially with the dark glass preamp or even the EMG preamp, depending on which bass I'm using, this pedal does sound really good. And honestly, at the end of the day, if you don't need a 300 watt, 150 pound behemoth of a bass amp, which is probably what no one needs at this point in time. Get one of these, get a Seymour Duncan power stage or something like that or run this into the effects loop of any sort of like class D bass amp and you're gonna get a really killer sound. This is going on my pedal board and I'm gonna be using this so I probably will touch bass on this maybe in like a couple months from now and just let you know my thoughts and opinions on this. But if you are looking for that classic SVT bass sound but your budget or your living space maybe doesn't accommodate to you owning a full on tube amp, this is the way to do it and I'm really excited to start playing some more shows with this thing. And that's gonna do it for today's video on the Master MasterFX Super 300. If you wanna learn more about this pedal and if you wanna get it for yourself, I'm gonna have a link down below where you can actually go learn more about it or just pick it up for yourself. Let me know in the comments below of what you think of this pedal, especially compared to the actual Ampeg SVT 300. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time checking out one of my videos, please consider subscribing. I have tons more videos that are like this, doing some pedal demos and as well as other guitar related content. And if you really like what I do, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video that I upload. Thanks for checking this out and I'll see you next time.